So hey guys, today I'm happy to say another happy birthday to someone very, very, very special to me. That's my daughter, that's my baby girl, Ingi. I call her Ingi. She called me Ingi when she was small, like we, like the story behind Ingi is like, you just have to know to believe it, like. She was very, very small and she like always cried for her Ingi. I don't know if she was trying to call my real name or what. But it's closer, yeah. And then the shower hair, and I'm excited to do this video. Yeah, not much places you can do a video at work, especially. Yes, so I'm gonna tell you my little. I love my Ingi, like, I love my Ingi. Like, I might not tell my Ingi every day, she's still small. I don't want to get up in her head and play up in her head, but she's that baby girl have a piece of me for life, and so does her dad. So. You know I love my baby girl like mm, mm, mm. I love my baby girl. Anyway, she Ingi Ingi is so smart, like so 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 smart. Like she be doing stuff like a four years old, five years old she be doing, she be saying stuff. She's smart. That's why she, and trust me, her parents like that she's with now in Beckway. Um they push for like it, they really push for educational wise and stuff like that so I'm very very proud of them and I'm proud to call her my daughter all of my kids are smart and we have two kids and like my daughter is doing I'll even say I won't say good great excellent so we still come down her but I always tell her she's doing great and stuff like that so she knows that she's doing well yeah so guys so in the story about Ingi, I'll give you a little story about Ingi and how Ingi got um, with that family that she's with now and I'm telling you about God like I'm not here alone. I don't know, this thing just happened to me like nothing was planned out but it was already written. <laughs> I'm not gonna preach or anything like that. I was I had my ticket book to go away and I didn't have anyone to be my kid with. I know my mom wanted my my kid with I respect but I know what's best for my child and I didn't want to like have my mom bound with a baby all of my, my mom last kid is like she's gonna be 21 this year I don't want to have my mom bound with grand and stuff like that and I know she had to go to work every day and I wasn't working straight away when I came here so I couldn't maintain my child for a few months well and stuff like that and it was very very difficult like I know the situation I didn't buy really it's only out of God that I didn't leave my child with my mom but I was looking for this sorry I was looking for this family to leave my kid with and a few days I have to travel and I didn't, I'm not leaving my kid with my child father and with her dad and um, I didn't want to leave my child anywhere close to him because he will get my kid, he will go for his kid and he will get it and I don't think anyone could stop him. Everyone here, most of you guys know, I don't think anyone could stop him if he go for his kid. Moving on, so I met this family and I keep, I message FIFA, uh, I'm just message this lady and I said, hey, do you want a child? Right. Generally, I'm bold. I'm bold, I'm not come and shy and when I want to get something at first, just said that. She said, um, she said, um, she said, ah, huh? like, what you mean? Like, she, she was so polite, like, like, um, why, like, why are you giving away the child? And simple question like that. And then I said, oh, I'm joining the Navy, so I just want someone to have, I'm just going my knuckles on my, not my, this is not my toothbrush, my toothbrush is here, this is my knuckles to brush. Yeah, so, yeah, so she said, like, why are you giving away? I said, well, I'm just, I have a job opportunity. I didn't tell them how recent, and I said, but I'm looking for, yeah, and the the young this lady said, um, I'll have to speak to my mom first. I'll speak to my mom and I'll get back to you. They didn't see the child or anything like that. And guys, if you know my baby, my baby is sweet. My baby is coming, growing more beautiful every day. But that kid, wow, that kid, you know that baby stage. I left my baby when she was a few months. You know that little baby stage, like a little English baby. Mm. Yeah. So anyway, she spoke to her mom and her mom, I think her mom got on to me and all she got on back to me and then she was like, you know, 
they were talking to me and say, they say like yeah and stuff like after the experience you know they said wow it kind of be touched by my story like that's how I want to go ex and travel for myself and then I don't know this family turned out to be the family the parents the mom the, they, they all decided bring the child down though I think the other day I didn't think I could make it that day but it was like few two days before I leave or three days before I leave so I took the child down to Bekwe and stuff like that and they're in Bekwe perfect I mean God God is just God is just not this is not planned this is manifest this is written oh my god those thoughts anyway guys yes so now I have I'm taking this child down to Bekwe and the day I went down I just pray for God to guide me into the right family and everything go well. I took all my kids stuff the day I went up. All like basic, I just only like one, two, yeah, basic stuff. Like I took as much as I could take, like that which she will need to live in straight away. And then when I go and met this baby, oh my God, this baby melt their heart. And at that time, kids had a lot of nice hair on her hair on her head before they met her but then afterwards she got eczema i didn't know i had i was doing loads of different treatment they were giving me for my child for my baby and i think it was just making it worse they were giving me wrong treatment and the same day I took my child down and they see her they, I, 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 I was speaking about the hair problem before i went down to Berkeley and they said your child have eczema i know someone who has eczema like that and that eczema don't make the doctor tell me so they took her to the doctor from the war. We went straight to the doctor, we were clinic in, in Beckley, yeah. And then we got eczema treatment for her and stuff like that because they already told the doctor about her and stuff. So she, they had stuff for her already. So when they went, everyone was excited. Everyone loved the baby, the nurses, all of the stuff like that, you know. And that's how her eczema thing was treated. They, they all decided to order like a lot of stuff to eczema treatment and stuff for her. And all, look at her hair. All of her hair fell out, guys. Like she had long hair. She wasn't meant to have like longer hair than what she has now. But anyway, that's another story. Let's get back to this juicy bit. So when this family met my baby, oh my god, it was like an instant connection. I'm like, they wanted me to leave the baby with them this very same day okay this is how it happened so i went okay say i was traveling on a just say i was traveling on a wednesday i visit them the monday took all the stuff down they wanted me to leave the baby on the monday i couldn't because the the dad look for come and look for the baby every day we were not together anymore so a lot of people think that keith and i was together when i left we were not together keith already moved and like officially and stuff like that which i don't give a damn it, it did me he did me a favor because I really decided like I couldn't take it no more. I did left, I left, I left. So the Monday took the baby on the Monday. They wanted me to leave the baby. I'm like, I can't, I can't. I know why I couldn't because I know Kit will come and look for that baby. And it's gonna be one drama. I had to even make up a lie to say I was taking the doctor, the baby in town in the hospital and stuff because he didn't see it for a whole day. So I had to make up an excuse when he called and stuff like that. I'm like, you're not, you're not, you guys are not back it because he always look for his baby constantly. I mean, obviously, look for his baby. Anyway, um, so guys, yeah. So I took the baby down and then I bring the baby back up and then Tuesday I went down and I went down and I bring up I left the baby on the Tuesday and I was traveling all the Wednesday morning and it was just like that. Just just like that. And all I did was just pray um, that I left the kid. It was so sad saying goodbye to my kid. I have a video when I was saying like waving goodbye and they were saying say goodbye to mommy. That's when we were on the boat and stuff like that. I took her on the boat. And I sent her down on the boat. And my kid, she did not even cry. She did not cry. And I was speaking to Nana, that's a grandma, and stuff like that. And yeah, she did not cry. And they told me like she behaved herself and stuff like that. And you know, she was eating good. And she went down with the family. And damn, this girl, Nana, please remind me. Did you have any issues with kids? It's like she didn't know better. It's like no, it, she wasn't crying for her mommy. She was a good baby. Mm, bless her soul. 
she is a good baby well she's not a baby no so i'll just say was a good baby yes and stuff like that and that's how my child reached into this family ever since this child been in this family this family have given my child so many opportunities that i could have that i would not be able to give her even now the stuff that they have gotten her and stuff like that and it's not all about vanity but the road they have taken her kiss go to church if you see me if you are my whatsapp you'll see me can't put post whatsapp um pictures with kiss in church photos even on the internet sometimes when you see her in a little dress and stuff like that it's church and thing whether it's not constantly but basically she always go most of the time but she have that basic that simple background instilled in her and stuff like that. And I pray for my daughter every day because I know my daughter have a blood in her. That's miserable. It's from her dad. She she can't run from it, and I have to like prefer for my daughter to just be different than everyone else, different than the rest, different than. I pray, trust me. I know my daughter have potential in her to be miserable, and I swear, I pray every day for my daughter. My nana, everyone pray for her. I know she's living with her family. So the lady now, and back to that story, I've, this is not just any family, this is a family, this is a husband and wife family. So the lady who I reach out to, she's married, she have her husband, and her mom is married to her dad and stuff like that. So it's just, and they only have two kids. One is away, one is there, and the girl live with them, that kiss mom. The lady that kissed mom at the moment and kissed that they all live together in the same house here yeah, in bakery and stuff like that so yeah and they don't have any kids this married couple don't have any kids so kiss is like was like the perfect candidate she was like in the perfect home everything was just perfect i swear to god i'm a brave i'm risky the amount of risk i take the amount of risk i take i can them and all I do is walk with faith. I just walk with faith. Trust me. I'm this big bad wolf. I can say all this thing to motivate you guys and all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But trust me. When when it's time to get down on my knees or on my face or just in my bed or in my pillow or anything like that, when it's time to say God thank you, and I always start off my praise with saying God thank you, and I just want to say God thank you. Thank you for making me make the right decision. Thank you for giving my child a perfect home. It's the perfect home. These people love my kid, Diana. They love my kid more than they love themselves. Kiss love her grandpa. Her gra Kiss grandpa love her so much. The, gram the grandpa is crazy. She's kissed everything. It's his, she's, it's her, she's her idol and stuff like that. And she gets to do a little bit of mechanic as well because we fix stuff. And you know, kids get to do like a little fixing bike. Kids is like trying to fix her own bikes now and stuff like that. Kids, like, yeah. So that's my little baby story. Oh, she's so sweet. I love kids. Like, I love kids. Kids, pretty. That's my pretty baby. That's my doll. Like that. You know, you know this girl. It's just all about her today. And she's like the most intelligent she year old I've ever met. She is smart. She is smart. And these people don't just buy her fancy stuff. It's always another video of kids doing another quiz, doing a, a matching, matching elephant to that, matching octopus to its letter and stuff like that. It's so like, and they find excitement in that. And there's nothing that I value more. All that, When I was making my baby, all I prayed for was an intelligent child. Not a pretty baby never pray pretty over my kids and this petty stuff intelligence and wisdom and if i'm to make another baby that's what i'm gonna be praying and believe me i'm gonna get it it's it, it comes naturally from me i, I made the way god god encouraged that inside of me already that if that's a word jesus yes it's inside of me so i have that so just like my kid is just like, my first child she's just naturally bright like she don't like to study and stuff like that, but she does. She does because she have to her grandma is very strict. Yes, in this family, guys, I can't appreciate you guys enough. I don't say it every day. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if any day I probably get upset because I'm a very moody person. I get moody with anything, anyone, 
I'm just like that. But at the end of the day, all it takes for me is one shower and I'm good. Like, I'm back to normal. I love you guys and I don't forget good deeds. Even when I was in the UK, I didn't have anyone. These people were sending money for me. It's like they adopted me and my child. They adopted me and my child, sending money for me in in Issy, which was good enough to maintain me for a while here in pounds. You get what I mean? Like, the same people. You can't find people like this every day. This is God. This is written. This was written. And God just keep on blessing us. And I just pray that we keep the bond together and no one come between us and stuff like that. Keep the child from the family before. But I'm not, it's not about that today. It's just about the beautiful thing, all of the good stuff. It's a story for another time. And I'm so happy. I'm happy to have my Ingi. I can't wait. Like, I just enjoy watching her grow up. I leave my baby when she was a few months old. Today she's three years old. And that family is all she know. And I will never try to take her away from that. I will never try to take And no one out there can convince me that I should do that or anything like that. So, happy birthday, baby girl. I hope she have a good day today. I believe she'll have a fantastic day. If this video is not posted today, I'll try my best to get it posted today. You know, I'm very tired and the internet here sucks at work. I'm not in quarantine anymore. I can get good Wi-Fi and stuff like that. I just want to say happy birthday to my baby girl. I love you and I know you're in good hands and I know you are in, you will enjoy. Today this morning they already sent me a video video, a picture with her baking her own cake. So I mean she has some stuff going on there today. So yes. Yes. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of my daughter. I'm proud of the family she's with and everything like that. I need to get this off my face now, so I need to end this call and end this video thank you guys for watching bye <laughs>